All this fiberglass and the imperfections brings back traumatic memories of the Cobra and long days and nights sanding forever and ever. Traumatic? Anyways, traumatic. That's a job, I guess. I thought you loved it. Not body work. Can you go your way anymore? Yeah, come this way a little bit. Right about there, the bottom side needs to come in a little bit, but we can get the that bottom out. Side will adjust. How's that top? That looks pretty. Top's pretty good. Decent. Yeah, I'm just right. come a little more. Okay. Close enough. Okay. Go. All right, so we have got our bumpers in finally. Had a little snafu with these um, they came before Christmas just in time for us to work on um, to get the body work done you know early January but they came and got damaged um, on the way they were just you know too far gone something nothing that we could one we could fix one we couldn't and it was just kind of the point like if we're gonna get another new one we just get just as well get both um, they were um, damaged because they're fiberglass. So these came with polyurethane um, bumpers originally and if you've ever seen one of these up close you'll know that the the polyurethane on those it just it turns wavy over time. The heat cycles hot cold hot cold you know especially when you're in a climate that kind of you know fluctuates that much like Missouri. Um, this one came from Oklahoma so there you go. Um, you know just over time they don't match the, the metal body lines that are rigid, obviously. So what a lot of guys do is they upgrade modern um, with modern fiberglass, and that's kind of what we got now. So let's take a little closer look at those. So one thing with these, um, <clears throat> and it's not just the fiberglass, so this is you know a good fiberglass product. Here comes Austin. And um, you know, any of these body, you know, you get a whole quarter, it's going to come, it gets pressed, you know, it gets pressed multiple times. I mean, thousands of times they're making these things. And over time, you're going to have some tolerances. Some things are going to be different. Um, same goes here, you know, they put these into a mold and over time, popping these pieces out of these molds, that mold is going to flex. So you're going to get some discrepancies here and there. So that's kind of what we found here. Overall, not bad. You know, gaps kind of good up here, a little thick here. We'll have to build up with some fiberglass. Um, and then cut out a little bit here. But overall, this is kind of like, you know, don't buy these things thinking you're just gonna throw them on because there's gonna be some work involved with them, um, as you can see here. But overall, pretty good thing to start with. You know, I don't have to make a whole whole bumper or use um, that old cheap uh, polyurethane, you know. That's, this is solid. This thing's not flexing at all. All right, so here's a little bit of a closer look on the differences of why we went over to fiberglass um, from the polyurethane. So first off, you know, you knock it everywhere. It's, I mean, it's pretty solid. You flip it over, you know, these, um, these kind of weak points, which, you know, are going to be pretty floppy, you know, it's pretty rigid. And the, the, the support under here, I mean, a lot of this is super rigid. You, know, you I can't just take this and bend it forward. Now, here's the factory one, as you can see. If we grab this, you can see how it's just already just kind of flopping around in his hands. And granted, that does have some support in it, and this would have, which would have been in here. Overall, though, I mean, look at this. And you can, I don't know if you can pick that up. There's like cracking. So, you know, when you're going as fast as you're going to be going in this car one day, there is going to be a lot of downforce and pressure on this. Um, and just over time, you get lots and lots of stress cracks. and. It won't take long to find some because there were a lot in here and you know i don't know if you can hear me flicking i'm just i'm just flicking off paint from and here's a crack i mean there are cracks all over this thing because it is even with the support it's just got a lot of movement in it mm -hmm. which this doesn't so when you you know lay down paint on this 
it's a solid surface and it's not going to crack. It's going to stay nice and rigid and look good for a very long time. So right now, Austin is putting on the tires because we've pretty much got the the rough end body work. This is um, this is mostly ready for a uh, uh, that initial high um, primer build. Um, we've got you know the metal work done, the um, the build parts done. I've got these bumpers. They um, they weren't too bad. The back one needed more work than the front one, but you can see here this body line is pretty nice. Um, had to do a little fiberglass building, a little fiberglass work, and then once I got done and got them where I wanted them, on the inside, you can kind of see overhang here, I um, reinforced the back with this body line that we wanted. Um, so when we pop these off, this should stay pretty much how it was, because it you know, had a little bit of a bow at first, but um, came out pretty well um, after a lot of tugging and pulling, and keep putting that tire on. Now look who's putting the tire on. The other side on if you want. Pretty light cars, huh? Yeah, there's no engine. That uh, trans that Cobra, I could slide. <clears throat> Seriously, I could slide that Cobra on the rear end. I could just push it and slide it over. So what we're going to do here is the reason we moved it over here and um, <clears throat> got it on this lift is we're doing the undercoating now and what we're going to do is come in here with just wire wheels and lots of sore shoulders and arms to you know take out um, a lot of the buildup over the years which this is looks like it's had some work done um, at some point um, under here because the original red has been covered up. And um, what we're gonna do is just come through here and, like I said, clean it up, get it resprayed, get it looking nice and clean under here. Um, it'll be nice since we've got you know <clears throat> new rear end coming in. There's not really much that's gonna stay here. That's that's here right now. But um, while we're under here, we're going to put some new solid mount body bushings um, to help with uh, um, control. These rubber ones, while they're you know hard rubber, they're still soft compared to these billet ones that we're going to be putting in here, and um, just going to have a lot you know stronger of a, of a um, cornering capability, especially with the motor that we're putting in here. It's going to you know it's going to need a little bit more of a stout um, suspension and um, frame, which then also we're doing subframe connectors um, from the front and back, and uh, yeah, let's pretty much you know get this underside done before we start doing some final spray on the outside. Um, 
All right, so good news and bad news. Good news is the underside is pretty well ready. Some spots here and there, thanks to Austin. Um, while I was in um, Arizona for, man, it's too dirty. While I was in Arizona for Barrett Jackson, he was able to get this all cleaned up for us. Um, and as you can see, the bad news is that we have quite the mess over here. It is everywhere. You saw the pile, and that's only part of it. But if you come under here, you'll see that original red that these cars had and we kind of thought about going with that but there's going to be way too many contrasts with that to make it look like original so we're going to stick with the black under here the black's going to be a good kind of canvas for the different colors we've got going on between the suspension um, pieces you know the carbon fiber drive shaft will look so cool you know kind of sticking out through here so you know for us every aspect of the car has to look cool and um, the black's going to be a great canvas for all the cool really cool parts that we're going to put on underneath here. Um, all up in here, you know, all the grease and stuff up here, all off, super clean, all the way down to metal. It's going to look nice, real nice. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Boom, nailed it. <laughs>